<clears throat> hey guys, this is Happy Fireball Man. This is part two of the um of the the Phoenix um 500 um DD B the Drift Drag build. So you see, we have the um, Big Boy and the Kerem, which I recently made. What do they, these all three have in common? Well, these all three of these are uncontrollable, as you'll see soon about this one. But but this one, the Big Boy, 12 liter V8, well 12 liter V12, rear wheel drive, perfect match for all, um chaos. This one, I think this is like a 1,000 horsepower rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive also. I don't know, all of these are twin turbo, but this has like 12 cylinders. So let's see on real, on if it can go muddy. Wow. This is the quietness. Okay. This is the loudness. Yeah, that's how. But let's see if it can go out. As you see, it's uncontrollable. Even with ESC, it's like hard to tear it up. Let's go in the, on the mud. Yeah, this is really... Uh, and it hit the tree. Just giving like, see, let's see, a boost from 30 miles per hour to 60. See, so it's more powerful than with the tires. To fix this solution, we can can get wider tires. Maybe an offset will work. And yeah, but since this is the widest, we're gonna have to deal with it. Performance orientation. It's 
like, it, like we can put like a chunky off-road tires, but like that's gonna ruin its orientation of being like a drag. It's not meant for off-road. If it had, if it didn't have that much horsepower, it would have been stuck. Coping with its um with itself, so so it will be like harder to for it to drive. And now, yeah. Now let's see if it if it can go in the sand because Dubai is gonna like it somehow. Someday. Yeah, it acts like if it's on rails, but it's not like slippery as the as the sand. And that was a perfect drift. To Karim, Karim, or Karim, or Karim, it kind of had trouble to hear. So wow, it passed to most of them. Can it go mud bogging? I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to say about this one. Mud bogging. Yes. No. So. Here's why I think it can do it. It can because it has the horsepower. It maybe can because it doesn't have all the drive. And it's real And yeah, it's low. So low. So low that you can let, let you can see right here the engine's already locked. But you see this this one Let's see, let's compare them. Which one is the most slippery? Slippery. Off the bat, it's slippery. But to aid this, we got it. Let's do top speed runs to prove the point of the slipperiness. If you didn't see this one, this was this is a mix of between a Viper, a Cobra, and a 
Corvette. No, it doesn't have some cor like if you look up on top, it looks like a Corvette T2 white body. But if you look in front, Cobra Colt has, has aesthetics. It is the Vipers from um, uncontrollability. I know the Viper and Cobra was both made by Carol Shelton, so yeah, so it's similar, but not really. And for some reason, the front bumper is like really wobbly, maybe because it's paper thin. Um, the suspension is really kind of beating competition. can't do this. That's the thing. The slippery award is how how much you can take. If it's just so unbearable that it's not what you want to buy, like this looks cool and I want to buy it and I want to drive this in real life but then I realize I'm not an expert driver. I'm just, I'm just someone who doesn't know how to drive, who doesn't drive yet. Like, it is expert in being like a viper on top speed, but bumper, you lost my trust and I lost you. Okay, let's just keep going. See, like, lights are bright. That's like the only thing I have to say about this whole thing. It's just cool. Just like the Viper, it's cool. It's, it has like a lot of horsepower. so easily because their power is so instant instantaneous.
This one is a um, 12 liter V12. If you're new to this channel and you haven't seen this before, so basically the story of this is a lot of power, a 2200 um, horsepower 12 liter um, V12 that's only rear wheel drive because all wheel drive does not fit. Which makes me sad. I want it to be like, like a, 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 a Bugatti, but I guess I have to make it rear wheel drive. what scares me. This one it's a drift car so it has to see the drift like the normal sedan. Just take away this and this. It looks good. But now we gotta kind of use its downforce. Wings are supposed to be for downforce. But this is where wings don't help. Wow, horsepower? Big one. The Cobalt was good because it, it was the fastest Nurburgring from the drive car. and the most uncontrollable this is a lot uncontrollable this is like the least but now we gotta see the drifting aspect and to do so we need to do oh wait we forgot about the um let's just do the drifting aspect first we can we drift because it was slow drift but people love fast drifting. We'll just kick. See, look. So, building a drift car and drag car are different. 
They're entirely two different things that a drag cart is not for going around the corners. Drift carts can go in corners and they have like a lot of horsepower. But they're not like the fastest straight. If this was like flat, I can um, drift on it, but maybe drift on it, but the drift will be uncontrollable. Model cops, if it's if it's this high that the bumper doesn't accept it, then you know the bumper's just too low. Right height, it could have been higher. That tactic always works. Oh shoot. Oh man. I don't know what to say. Save? Or cheating. I call that save. Driving up here. Because this is really good. It's like. It's. It's like. Um. Having. Syrup all over your body. It's sticky. It's it's irritating. It's it's um it's really um agonizing. It's really um it's really 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 what should I say? What should I say? What should I say? It's really uncomfortable. But it's tasty. It's uncomfortable but tasty. Like this is uncontrollable. But when you get it to control, it's so, so delightful, which is a good idea. Wind might say it's private. Like, let's say you spill maple syrup on your body, it's sticky. But maple syrup is really sweet. This can conquer anything, but it's basically the death of the both. It's powerful. Powerful. The, being powerful is me. It's it's a burnout machine. It really is. To prove my point, oh, let, let me just remove these two. Real quick, and now add something. So let's get a Hirochi Sunburst Drift Missile. Um, or let's get something that has something that can drift. Like, you know, let's screw it. Screw it. Let's just get the Hirochi. I mean, get the Hirochi, but get it, but get the Drift Missile. This is all-wheel drive, yes. <laughs> this is what a good drift car is.
destroy the drive line. Hey, but hey, I took out the engine. And now we can. Yep. And see, this is a good drift car. <laughs> My explanation is... This is just a total drift. Oh look. It can drift. So, really, mission kind of accomplished. He accomplished both things in both ways. Any car can, any car can be either a drift car or a drive car. Demon was made to be a, a full built um, drag car. There's cars like. I don't know, man. There's like other cars that are meant to be drift cars. But this is like built to be both. And there's no way of doing them. So if you build a drag car into a drift car, you'll end up having too much power. But if you have a drift car. If you end up making a drift car into a drag car, you will A, have not enough traction. Be not not a lot of power. So basically, these two are opposites, kind of. One drag racing is about all the power, while drifting is all about being controlled and being able to go corners. So really, mission accomplished. But I'm not sure if it is. And that's it. And I'll see you soon. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And please let me know what you build next.